Two crystalline amber eyes buckled back at mine, their pale snow-white shoulder lamp hair danced with the gentle breeze among the moon sued petals. And the most stunning thing of all? Their smile. It was a warm and ray of sunlight, and yet, it also sent a shiver down my spine. It was such an unforgettable smile, proof to, to its beauty and the fear that it brought to my heart. Why? Why did I fear such beauty? My brain could simply not decipher the sight shown by my heart, and that is, perhaps, why I couldn't b help but reach for their arm every time. And every time, they felt like a grasp and an eternity away, all at the same time, a mirage to my eyes. Why did such perfection manifest itself and vanish at the same time? As the years passed, the same figure appeared in front of my eyes. My fascination only grew for this creature. Who were they? Who were they to me? Who was I to them? And every time I kept reaching, over and over, it was like a trance, a loop, a dream. In my daily life, the aroma of moonsuit petals creeped around every corner, trying to move me around at the same time as fear kept engulfing my heart. Despite the fear, I craved to see them again. The fear was something I soon grew accustomed to. Was that why, as fear was secondary to me, that the figure was slowly becoming more translucent? Pale white mist with two sparkly amber stones which lingered with the contrasting purple moonsuit petals. A mesmerizing sparkling wave that kept drawing me closer, attracting me like a moth to the moon. I was slowly drawn to the current of this ray of light. The distance was soon contracting, my hands, their arm, they slowly fused together. It was my time. The mirage I restlessly chased was now with me. I finally understood. My time, my chase, my fear, it was all over now.